Hi friends, if you are looking for a cheap Bluetooth thermal printer which will connect to your Android phone and can print with an S, then stick to this video till end where I will unbox this printer, will write some code and finally we will print some sample using Codebase with the help of Android Studio. My name is Nikhil Lotke and you are watching Support Minia. Let's get started. Let's unbox this Pegasus printer. Well, I ordered the thermal printer through Amazon and if you check the actual cost of this printer is of Rs 9500 but in discounted price you will get around Rs 4649 rupees, which includes GST plus delivery charges. There are a lot of other stuff or offers you can claim during card checkout. Also you will get 10 days replacement policy along with it. Please note, if you want to replace this product then you have to courier this printer to Pegasus Center. For that, you will have to pay the courier charges by yourself, where Pegasus will not provide you the courier charges. You will get one year off-site warranty. Here I mentioned the off-site warranty, which means if any issues with the printer, then send this printer to the respected center so that their technician will fix the issue and return that product to your place. Find Pegasus address detail in description of this video. Now let's understand what do you mean by thermal printing? The thermal printer is a printer that makes use of heat in order to produce the image on the paper. Due to the quality of print, speed and technology advantages, it has become increasingly popular and is mostly used in airline, banking, entertainment, retail, grocery and healthcare industries. Thermal printing does not make use of ink or toner unlike many other printing forms but largely depends on the thermal papers for producing images. So no worry about cartridge refilling. Here are some features of the thermal printing. Well, talking about this thermal printer, only English language is now supported. But don't worry, now the Pegasus team is working on some other languages as well and soon they will provide you update on it. Here there are some general booklet which includes warranty card booklet will give you information about Pegasus other pr products and uh, their features. There is no, let's read this out. Dear sir, thanks for shopping with us. We would like to inform you that your product is having one year warranty and six month warranty on charger, cable and battery from the date or invoice. If you need, then kindly contact to their email address and mobile number. Their service will be available from 11 am to 6 pm from Monday to Saturday. There is one more important note they have. Any help is this product requires software development skill to integrate with Android app programming guide which include in the CD and downloadable from the site. Then there is a CD which has a driver's demo app which connects to the printer through Android device. Tools and user manual soft copies also will be there inside this box. Here is a user manual, USB cable and here is our thermal portable printer which has a battery indicator along with error and charge indicator on top of it. You can see two buttons, one is to turn on the printer and other is to set the page. Here is the charger, let's turn this out. Okay, now you will see the battery indicator here, it's fully charged now, you can load page here. Now enough of this thermal printing demo, let's move on to some coding standard where I will write some code and give some commands to this thermal printing and then we will run the program we'll check how this command helps to print the page so inside pegasus cd you will find this pegasus dle demo which you can download and import on your android studio so when you import this you will find this structure like you will have two activities device list activity and printer activity and uh, of, of course a manifest but let's understand more on this part like i'm just opening a manifest here and uh, in manifest you will find two activities like device activity printer activity whereas print activity is nothing but my launcher activity let's go back to print activity here we will further go through all these functions but then first we, let us check like what is there inside this uh, x symbol so we have two different buttons like uh, let's print and then search device when you try to click on this search device okay so I, let me give you a background 
we have two buttons as i said print a button and search button so when you try to click on search button uh, this on click listener will be called where you will be redirected to device list activity okay and then again the response will be uh, captured here back in this activity because we are calling start activity for result and uh, this is what our constant so okay so when when it when it calls device list activity so definitely it will move on to next activity where you will have all the list of your BLE nearby BLE uh, or a Bluetooth devices okay so you can scan for these devices if not then refresh uh, now there are multiple options available where you can scan and you know you can find out nearby devices here so once let's assume that once you have a list of devices uh, available for you know uh, to pair so uh, if you try to click on you know so uh, let me give you a background like what does this activity there uh, do like you know first uh, you will initialize all the array adapters Bluetooth services okay the next section like get paired devices links if you have already paired your devices it will list down all those devices and then uh, set up a paired BLE list then set up a new BLE list register BLE receiver definitely these all uh, BLE point of view things you need to set up first okay so uh, I am not gonna uh, go in more details about it but you will you can download this this ready uh, project is available inside that same series you don't need to develop from scratch so you just need to import the existing CD uh, project into Android studio uh, and uh, you need to sort out some of the dependencies and you are good to go so in this activity basically you will find the nearby devices available to pair once you will click on that okay once you will try to click on the particular item okay then basically it will fetch the addresses and will return back to previous activity which is which will be our uh, print activity so obviously then the request will come here on activity results set so on the uh, addresses we will fetch the mac address and we will, we will try to connect service uh, will take care of the connection and everything so here we are again assuming the my device is connected but during a device connection if you face any kind of issues then uh, you know you need to capture that uh, issue and uh, you need to inform that to user so for this we have a handler here which will indicate whether the, your connection was successful whether any uh, issues you observed whether the device connection was lost so all this uh, you know, basic uh, state management of uh, bluetooth devices we have handled here for this particular time we, we i will assume that okay my device is connected successfully okay so once it is co connected successfully you, it will be listed over here a single, a single device will be listed over here and then you will get option of let's print so when you try to click on that print uh, button okay so what it does is like this is predefined uh, command you will find inside this and you don't need to make any modifications into it since you can change your messages or you can write uh, uh, your messages here it can be dynamic it can be static you know, basis on your requirement you can place your text or statement here which will take care of uh, while uh, while printing it in the real time scenario when i try to uh, send some message to for printing so here is what my output that's all my friends i recommend this printer to everyone and one good thing about this pegasus is their quick support if you have any queries you can directly contact them over call or ping them on whatsapp they will respond you quickly and solve your queries without any issues so go ahead share this info with your friends parents and whoever is looking for cheap portable printer so that they can also take advantage and fulfill their needs thanks for watching this video hope you like it please share and subscribe my channel for more such videos till then keep watching support mini app thank you so much